Hey, what's going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be doing a comparison between GPT Playground and ChatGPT. So I just wanted to do a quick and fun video to see if we're able to get different content output from Playground compared to ChatGPT. If you're unfamiliar with what Playground is, I did a full video on it. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. But essentially, it's a model that was released by OpenAI well before ChatGPT. And it's ran on Text DaVinci 003 or GPT 3.5, which is one of of the most powerful text generation language models in the world and text davinci 003 is also what is built on top of chat gpt so the reason why you're able to generate really high quality short and long form copy is because it is built upon that same model so i want to do a quick video to see um, if we're actually able to get different um, content from playground compared to chat gpt so let's go ahead and get started for this example i'll be asking the ais to write a facebook ad for a company that sells coffee mugs that can be heated or cooled on demand and I'll just keep the um, settings sort of fixed on the right hand side here for playground we'll kind of go through these settings a little bit later on in the comparison so let's go ahead and run this input on playground and I'll also be doing the same thing on chat GPT okay so this is the output in which we got back from playground as you can see it's very short and very to the point introducing the revolutionary new coffee mug that heats or cools your drinks on demand keep your coffee the perfect temperature no matter what you are no matter where you are with your new coffee mug so again um, pretty good copy I would say but just very short uh, for my liking um, I would like something a little bit longer than that so let's go ahead and see what we we're able to get back here from chat GPT right off the bat we can see it's much longer um, and it's formatted more like what a traditional Facebook ad will look like so looking for a mug that can keep up with your busy lifestyle look no further than our heated and cooled coffee mugs whether you're in a rush to get out the door or need to stay cool during a long meeting our mugs got you covered not only is our mug convenient it's also stylish so why settle for a boring ordinary mug when you can have one that's heated and cooled on demand so this is actually a really good um output and i really like what we're getting back from chat gpt because we didn't really give it much context we didn't say what the target audience was we didn't give it a tone and i did that on purpose because i wanted to see what the ai was able to give me back with a very vague prompt and i'm very impressed by what we're able to get back here from chat gpt um, on the other hand, Playground, I think um, you really need to play around with the settings so that you're able to get much more uh, better quality outputs. And you also need to give very specific prompts when using play Playground um, for you to get back better outputs. And that's the main difference that I've noticed when using both of these tools. Playground, you have to be very specific, but on ChatGPT, you can be a little bit more vague because the AI is really, really good at picking up context and giving you back output that's specific for um, the type of context in which you're trying to go for or the audience to which you're going after so let's give this another try on playground but for this um, example i'll be increasing the max length so this will tell the ai how long the content needs to be so by increasing this um, that means the ai will create longer content and it'll also increase the temperature setting now the temperature setting essentially tells the ai how creative you want your content to be higher the temperature the more creative your content will be so i'll increase that so we can increase the creativity i'll also increase the frequency penalty now the frequency penalty essentially um, allows the AI to not repeat itself. So if you're generating longer forms of content, then you would want to increase the frequency penalty just so that the AI isn't repeating itself. As I mentioned earlier, you need to be much more specific with your prompts on Playground. So I've improved my prompt by asking it to write a compelling and in-depth Facebook ad, targeting busy workers and write in high converting sales copy. Okay, so this is much better compared to the output in which we first got back. Introducing the world's first coffee mug that can be heated or cooled on demand, perfect for busy workers. Say goodbye to lukewarm coffee. So what you're waiting for, get your hands on one today and experience the convenience the convenience of our revolutionary product so this is much more in the realm of what a facebook ad will look like but again i still prefer what we're getting back here from chat gpt and keep in mind that we didn't use the same prompt so i'm sure if we were to uh, use this uh, same prompt on chat gpt then we would be able to get a much higher quality and more in-depth output from um, this ai so I use the same prompt and as you can see, we got back a really, really good output from ChatGPT and it also um, has some testimonials here, which is pretty funny because I'm not sure exactly where they got that from. But it is interesting to see how this AI works. Um, as you can see, it really um, is able to understand what the um, intended audience would be looking for. Because for instance, if you're on Facebook and you're seeing an ad, it would be nice to have testimonials included in there. So um, you're just able to get much, much more powerful outputs from ChatGPT compared to the 
uh, playground mode. So now let's go ahead and generate some longer form copy and compare playground with ChatGPT. So for this example, I'll be asking the AI to write a 500 word blog post about how to create a recession proof online business. I'll increase the maximum length and let's go ahead and click submit here on playground and we're going to do the same thing on chat gpt okay so this is the output in which i got back from playground uh, let's first go ahead and check the word count to see if it was able to hit that word count okay so we got about 363 words here from playground and if we take a look at ChatGPT, first of all, it's formatted a lot better. Um, it actually looks like a blog post with different um, H1 and H2 tags here. So really well done there. And we have a nice conclusion as well. And the content also looks a lot longer. So let's go ahead and take a look to see how long this actually is. Okay, so we got about 588 words. So that's uh, really, really good. Um, not only did it hit the word count, but as it looks, um, just from taking a quick glance at this article, it looks to be much more in-depth. But let's go ahead and actually read through the content to see um, how it compares to ChatGPT. Okay, so the first paragraph talks about identifying your target customer base. Now it talks about building a customer base, um, focus on customer retention and loyalty. Then it talks about being able to adapt quickly to changing economic conditions. And then you have a nice little conclusion here. So this is not a bad um, blog post by any means. But when we compare the size of the blog post and the quality, I would definitely have to go with ChatGPT. As you can see here, they first start by talking about identifying a need in the market. So it's actually walking you through the process of creating an online business um, that is recession proof, prioritize customer service, diversify your offerings, focus on long-term growth, and a conclusion. So again, in this example, I would definitely have to go with ChatGPT over Playground. We're just able to get a lot more um, content. It's much more in-depth and it's much more targeted um, and um, really, answers the query in which we're inputting compared to Playground. With that being said, I do think that there's some specific use cases that Playground may be better than ChatGPT. For instance, under the preset options, you have a variety of different models that you can choose from. So you can choose some specific models depending on the use case, and you can actually go ahead and get more specific outputs. So for instance, if you wanted to do um, text to command, you can go ahead and use that specific uh, model. You have an example of how to do it. And then um, you can then use that for your specific use case. If you wanted to generate specific Q and A's, you can do that with that model. If you wanted to um, translate languages, you can also use that specific model. And if you needed to classify any of your data, you can use your classification model. If you needed to do any natural language to Python, again, you can use that model, explain code, chat if you wanted to build a specific chat box, or if you wanted to uh, generate some content using the chat features, again, you can use that. And there's a bunch of other examples here that you can take a look at. So if you needed some very specific use cases, then it may be um, useful to take a look at the examples and use those specific um, uh, use cases on Playground. And if you actually went ahead and clicked on those specific use cases, so for example, I clicked on summarize for a second grader, it will actually give you the settings that you need to use to get the most optimal um, outputs from Playground. So if you're unsure as to what you need to do for these settings, again, you can just go to those use cases, click on it, and then you can see how to actually use those use cases, the prompts that you can use the sample response, and then you have the API uh, request if you'd like to use that um, within your own tool, you have that available as well. And again, you have the settings here. So I do think that there may be some specific use cases in which Playground may be better suited compared to ChatGPT, but for majority of the use cases, I would recommend ChatGPT. As we saw in the examples in today's video, um, ChatGPT is really good at picking up context and it's really easy for you to generate high quality, long and short form content. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions about anything that I mentioned in this video, let me know in the comments below. And also if you have any video topic suggestions, let me know in the comments below. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.